great happy Memorial Day. This is just a quick garden walkthrough, show you what's growing because everything is pretty much up and running at this point. I have melons again over here, cicada, uh, cicada and madura melons. They're little softball size uh, sweet melons. So that's doing good, growing up the trellis. Got some male flowers on it. It's my bell pepper plant. I've already gotten a couple bell peppers and that kind of took a turn where it didn't have much, but I have a small bell pepper right there and some good flowers and something I was eating the leaves. But there's another one down there and another one up there. Um, this is my dahlia bed, and I have one starting to bloom, which is super exciting. It's got a couple more blooms there. Uh, this was a mix, and so I don't know exactly which one is what, so that'll be fun to see what blooms. Loving the color of that one already. Um, and then I had one back there that's still just, I don't know, it got stunted, so I think that uh, the tuber just didn't do well or had a disease or whatnot so I just kind of see what happens but focus on the sorry focus on the other ones this is my lemon cucumber plant which I did in the same spot last year and I also did it in a different spot the year before so that's doing really well and it's got some flowers on it tomato plant still hanging in there still has tomatoes the birds have discovered it um, so I try to pick them when they start getting orange, like a couple of those in the back. And uh, hopefully I can get them before the birds do. These are uh, my eggplants. Uh, same ones I did last year. They're uh, Malaysian eggplants, so they're long and skinny. Here I have a combination of zucchini and okra. I have another zucchini growing down here, but I also harvested one off the other. Now, supposedly... This was supposed to be a green zucchini, and the other one's supposed to be a golden zucchini, but I got a green zucchini off of it, so not sure if that was just a seed in the wrong packet or what. And then I have okra. I actually think I have too much okra for this spot. I just kind of just put the seeds in, and I have like two in each spot, so two, four, six, eight, nine. So I think what I'm going to do is go through and cut an okra where there's doubles down to the base, and then uh, that way it's just a little bit less dense for them. My cayenne pepper plant's doing awesome. I'm just waiting for these babies to turn red. And looks like the one back here is starting to lighten at the bottom. But I have a ton of cayenne peppers all over this. Um, so, not for me, that's for hubby. Uh, I have green beans here. And I already picked a bushel. Um, but I wanted to pick some and then give it a chance to let some more. Let some of these I'm going to pick in a few minutes when I'm done. Ooh, look at this little guy. That's a good one. There we go. Um, so I'm going to pick some more beans. Um, I really went to town on seeding this bean spot this year so that I would get enough to be able to cook like a full serving at dinner. Um, this is my Tokyo cucumber plant. I did the same one last year in the same spot and it has flowers on it. It's doing well. Um, the cucumbers do really well just sewn directly into the ground. And then this is my jalapeno plant. And it's actually putting out pretty decent size jalapenos, if you can see back there. Get at it from another angle. Good size jalapenos. So that's doing well. There's another one down here. So there's two there. And then this is another dahlia patch. These are all um, cafe au lait. So it's a beautiful dinner plate dahlia. They're doing well so far. I'm just kind of waiting for some blooms to pop up. It's taking a little bit longer than that other one that's starting to bloom but looking really good um, I pinched a couple uh, that were ready at the time so 
So I'm just kind of hanging out watching those. And over here is my cut flower garden. Um, I have a couple zinnias popping up, like that one there. Beautiful coloring on that. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, love that color. Um, this is a lantana. Uh, these leaves are a little different. That's a lantana that I planted there last year that's coming back. And then I have a couple sunflowers here too. Um, and then some gladiolas. This one's about to, this is the really pretty orange and yellow one I love. That one's about to start blooming. Some more gladiolas, zinnias. I did also plant bachelor buttons in here and I really haven't seen any sprout. So I don't know if they just, they'll take longer. We'll wait and see. A um, couple more zinnias blooming. That one's a really pretty pink one. So yeah, cut flower gardens going to be crazy this year. My plan is to put some six foot stakes on either side and then um, some of my smaller stakes in the middle and use my, I have this green um, stretchy, it's really stretchy which is nice because it doesn't um, constrict the plants um, and use that to help hold everything up so it doesn't flop over especially when it rains. Can I just, I'm going to step back here so you can see our patio got extended and we got the gazebo up and it is just like the prettiest spot. I'm absolutely loving it, especially now that our like week and a half of rain is done. I can actually go out and enjoy it. Uh, these two are also Cafe Lay dahlias. So I'm just waiting to see what they do. They're not growing as fast, but they're a little bit more constricted in the pots. Um, I had peach dahlias there last year and they did well but then they didn't last in the pots over winter so I don't know if it got really wet and they rotted or what um, so that's looking good I watered uh, kumquat trees looking good mints looking scraggly um, but this herb bed's looking really good basil that basil I got from the store. Those two basil plants um, reseeded from last year. I have a volunteer basil from there popping up from last year. And that is a volunteer basil popping up from last year from letting it go to seed. Uh, Greek oregano, dill, my massive thyme. The chives are loving life right now. This is a cone flower from last year that's coming back. So I'm just waiting for the actual flowers to come up. And the rosemary got replaced. I still want to put lavender back into this bed in the middle there. Um, and maybe some flat leaf parsley somewhere. But um, I did dill again because last year I got some really great swallowtail caterpillars. Um, and I want to get them again. So that's how the garden's looking. Uh, later in the week we'll do the front flower beds and I'll show you those. Thanks for stopping by.